been talking lightning this morning. Mark Brim visited the National Weather Service here in uh, Sioux Falls yesterday. And he discussed lightning safety as well as common misconceptions about lightning. He joins us from the First Alert Now desk with more. Good morning, Mark. Good morning. I stopped by the National Weather Service in Sioux Falls and I talked to meteorologist in charge Todd Heitkamp. We talked about lightning safety and common mistakes people make during a thunderstorm. And even though the safest place to be is inside, there's still some safety measures you need to take. Well, you know, there's things that can happen, though, uh, such as taking a shower. That, that lightning charge can be uh, transferred through the plumbing. Uh, it's, again, very rare when that occurs, but again, why increase your chances? Uh, years ago, when we had landlines, uh, people were always uh, you know, told not to talk on the phone during a thunderstorm. Well, with cell phones now, we don't, really don't need to worry about that. But again, when you're at home, uh, the best thing to do is to stay away from the windows because that charge can come through that glass and that glass is a good conductor of electrical current and strike you where you stand. And you may not even know you're struck by lightning. All of a sudden you may feel that you're part of your skin uh, be numb and, and maybe part of your face actually, you know, just fall uh, and just kind of droop. Uh, those things are very common, but people usually don't know what happened at that point in time because it happens so suddenly. Now I'll have our full conversation later this morning. Todd Heitkamp from the National Weather Service in Sioux Falls. That'll be over at dakotanewsnow.com. From the First Alert Now desk, Mark Brim, Dakota News Now.